Hello and welcome to the Cavern of Terror. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to the Cavern of Terror. And we're doing another mobile thing. <laughs> it's been a while since I did one of these. I am going down to Leitersburg Cinema to see Crawl, the new alligator movie directed by Alexandra Aja. Cannot wait to see this movie. I've been hyped for it ever since I saw the first trailer. So after I get out of the theater here and get home, I will give you my reaction and my review for Crawl. Later. Okay, so 90 minutes and some change later, we are back to talk about Crawl. Let's get into my spoiler-free thoughts on this movie. If you guys are just here for my point-blank thoughts, my on-the-surface thoughts about this movie, I really, really enjoyed it. I think it's a fun summer film to go and check out and cool off during because with all that rain going around, you tend to get a little bit cooler. At least I did. The theater experience was great for me. There were way more people there than I thought there were going to be. Not a lot of talking, no crying kids, no phone calls going off. It was a great time. Thought the performances were good, and I really enjoyed the story. So if you want to see a fun summer film, I suggest Crawl. Go out and see it. Oh, so you're still here. So I guess that means you want to know a little bit more about Crawl. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to give away any spoilers here. I will be doing a spoiler-filled review of Crawl. Look for that later tonight, possibly, if I can get it out in time. But you guys want to know a little bit more about this movie. So a little bit more backstory here. I was actually really excited for this movie from the trailer. It was being brought to us by the people that did Don't Breathe. You know, Sam Raimi who gave us the Evil Dead remake. Uh, we had Alexander Aja involved who did one of my favorite remakes of all time. That is The Hills Have Eyes. He also did the Piranha 3D remake. And he did the Mirrors remake, the American version of the Korean film Mirrors. He actually wrote P2 as well, which I think is a really, really underrated film with Wes Bentley. Getting into the story here, guys, this thing is not very complicated. It takes place in Florida during a hurricane, and it's about a father and a daughter trying to get away from alligators to get to safety during the middle of a hurricane. That's literally all this movie is. But, guys, that's not saying that this is a weightless movie. This is actually written very well. Aja was on point when it came to the characters in this movie and the actual story. There was emotion here with these characters. There was a story with Barry Pepper, the father. Let me tell you something. Nothing can take down Barry Pepper. It's the truth! I am not lying to you guys when I tell you that the characters here were really, really well written for a movie that's just essentially a disaster movie with alligators thrown in. I thought that Kaya Scala... 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 Kaya Sky. That's what I'm going to say because I can't say her last name. It's like Alexandra Daddario. I can't, I can't pronounce this woman's name. Let me know how to pronounce it in the comments down below. But for now, here's your name. I thought that she was a very well-written character and actually had a lot of growth and development throughout this movie, especially the relationship between her and her father. That being said, the standout for this movie wasn't actually her. It was Barry fucking Pepper. I couldn't help but be more attached to Barry Pepper's character, Dave, because I happen to be a father myself, and I happen to have a daughter. I relate to that situation. Just like I said with Insidious 3, I related to Dermot Moroni's character, a lot more than the other characters because I have a daughter. It felt relatable to me. There's no exception here with this movie. This felt like a legit father-daughter relationship. And I think that has a lot to do with the characters and how they're written in the actors' performances here. Okay, so this movie is rated R. It's done by the studio that did the Evil Dead remake. It's directed by the director of the Hills Have Eyes remake, Alexandra Aja. Is this gory? Does it deserve that R rating? I'll tell you that it is worth the R rating, but it's not as gory as I wanted it to be. It's not as bloody as I wanted it to be either. And there is a fair amount of blood here. And there are some really gory things that I'm going to talk about in my spoiler review because they take place during the third act. I'm not going to ruin that shit for you guys because you know how I feel about spoilers. That's why I'm doing more spoiler reviews. Yes, I'm going to tell you that it's not quite as gory as I wanted it to be, but there are some spots here that will make you gore hounds rejoice. There's great work with practical effects with wounds and makeup like that, like broken bones. I was really impressed there. It's not as gory 
as something like a high tension, and it's not as gory as something like a Hills Have Eyes remake. For me, I would say that Crawl with uh, guts and gore is somewhere in between Mirrors and the Hills Have Eyes remake. It's somewhere in there in the middle, and I think it's enough to get you guys squeamish, but not throwing up in the aisles of the theater. So I'll tell you that it's very well done, but it might not be as extreme as what most people are looking for in a horror film like this. But this isn't exactly a horror film. It's more of a thriller. And I like the way that they went with it here with the more realistic attacks by the alligators. It's not as bloody and gory as uh, Hills Have Eyes because this is a more realistic take on these creatures. I like th that they paid attention to how alligators actually hunt. There's a lot of realistic things here. Barry Pepper knows a lot Dave knows a lot about how alligators hunt. And there is one scene where I thought it was absolutely amazing. And we'll definitely talk about that in the spoiler review. But for now, I'll tell you that if you like a lot of gore, this might not be your movie. But if you like something that's a little bit more realistic, Crawl is up your alley. Speaking of the effects, there's something that was, you know, really in the middle of the road for me. And unfortunately, it was the alligators themselves. In some scenes, they looked amazing. I could tell that there was practical effects involved in, like, you know, animatronics with these gators. And there were other scenes that were more CGI. And the CGI did not look that great. I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. There are scenes where it looks amazing. And there are scenes where it looks like PS2 graphics. I'm talking like made for TV here, guys. There are some scenes that are pretty rough to watch with the CGI, but I thought that having a director like Aja in here, he worked with what he had. And had this film not been directed by him, I think it would have been a hell of a lot worse. Money was probably a big issue with this movie because there wasn't a lot of promotion going into this. And you could tell that the director was very crafty with the way that he did this film. There's a lot of really cool camera shots, a lot of underwater stuff, a lot of character building scenes. He worked with his good character actors, and that's what you need to do when you can't really rely on the special effects. I'm going to wrap this thing up here by telling you guys that I really enjoyed Crawl. I thought it was a fun summer film with alligators. I thought it was casted very well. I liked the use of the camera here. You know, CGI can be a little shoddy, but there is some really realistic stuff in this film, especially with the alligators, with the way they hunt, and the the gore effects, the makeup. I actually really enjoyed it because it was really, really realistic. If you want to see just a fun summer film, go out and see Crawl. I would probably give it a nice, hmm. If you like this video, guys, make sure to give it a big motherfucking thumbs up because it helps my channel. And if you want to see my spoiler review of Crawl, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified about all my future content, including that spoiler review, and the remainder of all my Scream Resurrection videos and everything else I got fucking coming out. If you want to get yourself a badass Cavern of Terror t-shirt, make sure you hit up the link to my Spreadshirt store in the description box down below. And if you want to follow me on social media, guess what, guys? All those links are down there as well. But most importantly, guys, I'm Zach. This has been the Cavern of Terror. Stay metal, my friends. Three, two, one.